Hi, welcome to Muda Motorsports Garage. Today I wanted to show you uh, a little project I uh, just finished on my lathe um, after putting a standard glass scale three axis uh, DRO on the mill next to it. Uh, I wanted to try something different. Uh, different problems on this lathe. It's a mid-size 10 by 22 Chinese lathe. It's a Precision Matthews 1022V. Uh, and there are issues uh, in putting a standard size glass uh, uh, scale, uh, especially in the cross slide area. There's just not a lot of room. It's, it's a small machine and uh, you end up either losing a lot of travel, it's cumbersome, uh, it requires uh, uh, covers which take up even more space and uh, is susceptible to um, uh, all of the uh, dirt and uh, liquids and uh, lubricants that you use as part of the, the process. Uh, so I wanted to go with a magnetic system. Uh, at the same time, I really didn't want to spend uh, what I was seeing is $800 uh, for a two-axis system. So I started looking around, uh, tried a lot of places, uh, slim uh, scales. Uh, there's one company that uh, uh, out of India that makes a beautiful uh, magnetic uh, ultra-slim scale but they're expensive uh, if you buy them in the states the system is around eight hundred dollars and I tried to contact the company directly uh, and get a price on a couple of scales uh, never heard back from them so I continued to look and found a company uh, in China uh, actually several that, that sold magnetic scales but one seemed to specialize in it if you will they had a number of different uh, scales in different resolutions. They had a number of different setups. Uh, they had the display I wanted uh, and they had the mount I wanted. So uh, the company's name is 5Tech NC. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but I will put the links to what I purchased uh, in the uh, description of the video. Uh, I bought it on eBay because the way it was set up, eBay was having a special sale and I got it a little cheaper. But for two axis, uh, one micron resolution uh, setup uh, with an LCD display and the mount, it was under $350. Um, I hope it's cheaper by the time you go to buy yours. But I thought that was a pretty good deal and, and worth a try. And uh, it ended up being considerably easier than I thought to install and that's why I'm putting together this video. So let me take you over to the machine and I will show you the finished setup on both the uh, cross slide and on the saddle and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay for the uh first part we'll, we'll go to the cross slide and I'll bring it in close so you can see what we did here. The magnetic tape, uh, it comes in two pieces. Uh, there's the magnetic tape with uh, 3M adhesive on the back and there's a second piece of stainless steel tape which goes on top of the, uh, the magnetic tape and then your head reads off of that. As you can see I have mounted the magnetic tape directly to the cross slide. Uh, it's not too difficult to get it straight especially because we're dealing with about five inches of tape here. The total travel is a little over four inches. Uh, you want to leave some excess um, on both ends. Uh, from what I read on the internet they're looking for several inches. Uh, I left about a half inch past the reed head on one side and was limited to on this side. I'll bring it over as you can see here. There's full travel 
where the mark is and I have about another half inch from the middle of the head and it doesn't seem to interfere with the read operation whatsoever. So that's plenty of excess and it doesn't stick out past the cross line. Uh, the installation was very simple. I used the two uh, holes that were already drilled uh, for that wipe, the ways wipe right there and just mounted the uh, wipe right over top of the bracket, used one inch, uh, one eighth inch uh, 90 degree angle bracket and uh, the head comes with, is slotted and has about a two millimeter adjustment built into it. So really all you have to do is before you drill the holes, put the bracket uh, and the head, mark it and touch it directly to the tape and then mark the holes for full uh, travel coming back. And that way you'll have more than enough to set your gap. I think I set my gap at uh, about 0.8 millimeters. The range is 0.1 to 2 millimeters. And I did some testing on it and it reads uh, very well within that range. Uh, the yaw is a couple of degrees and we're going to have everything straight here by definition. So you won't have a problem with that. Uh, it's just not that difficult to set this up. Try to get some more pictures here, give you a better shot, coming up over the top, but that's all it is. And I'll take it through its range. Comes with those very nice wipes. And the tape is about, oh, I'd say a millimeter wider than the reed head. So as you can see, we have it tracking right along the top with just a small gap at the bottom. And it reads perfectly throughout the range. Here's the display unit. I used the uh, Sino uh, LCD. This is one of their newer units. It's a three axis so that it is interchangeable. I use the same display on my mill. So if one goes down, I can just uh, swap displays back and forth and I'll have a working uh, DRO on both units until I can replace one. Uh, So it's set to the one micron level. It's adjustable for diameter or radius. All these display units seem to use the same software and uh, it's quite accurate. It's repeatable to less, significantly less, about half a micron. So that's good enough for me. Let's uh, go back here to the rear of the machine. Here we are at the back of the machine looking at the saddle scale. I have some better video from when I had the uh, unit apart which I will patch into this. But as you can see the scale is uh, Attached adhesive attached directly to three-quarter square aluminum tube and uh, Just a couple of uh, What are those four a couple of four millimeters uh, with slots for uh, Making level adjustments. Here's a bracket setup Very simple Two holes, a spacer, uh, adjustability is in the, uh, the eighth angle on the bottom and uh, use the same method to have uh, the adjustment uh, for the gap. 
uh, on the uh, angle iron on the bottom. Okay, as you can see, these uh, reed heads come with very nice tight wipes. I'm going to go without covers. Uh, we'll see how it holds up. I mean, if I had to do it again, uh, you know, a roll of tape is $45, so I can retape the entire machine. Uh, and there's a very simple, very effective uh, one clamp uh, setup for the cables. They'll go to full travel with no tension on them both ways and basically stay out of the slop for the most part. Well, that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to say I received no compensation, nor did I receive any free uh, equipment from uh, Five Tech and uh, just uh, use the links that I supplied, go into their website on, uh, on uh, AliExpress or on eBay, and uh, pick yourself up uh, one micron magnetic DRO for less than 350. And uh, please hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna try to put up a couple other videos. Maybe you'll find something uh, that'll help you out. Thanks, thanks very much.